These are today's Jeopardy highlights. From New York, New York, Tyler Rose. From Cambridge, Massachusetts, Maureen O'Neill. From Oakland, California, Amy Schneider. Welcome everyone to the semifinals in the Jeopardy Tournament of Champions. Today we are down to just nine champions. Six who emerged victorious after a very competitive quarterfinal round, and three who were seeded directly into these semifinals by virtue of their extraordinary play during the regular season. But just for the record, the advantages of being a one seed end right here. Let's get into the game. Here are your categories in the Jeopardy round. Chess 1000. In 1997, the chess world was shocked when world champ Garry Kasparov lost a match to this IBM computer program. Amy. What is deep blue? That's correct, and I sympathize. <laughs> now, Jeopardy champions tend to receive their winnings after their games have aired, but you apparently already had some of yours when your last game was airing on television. At that point, because we're on the West Coast, people were starting to know that it was my last day, so we were having a watch party with some friends of ours. And so we took the check over, because it's not often you see a check for $1.3 million um, <laughs> to show them. And then after the episode, uh, we popped some champagne and it spilled all over the check. So, <laughs> yeah. What is on plein air? You are correct. What's the College World Series? You are correct. Who are Obergefell and Hodges? Yes. Uh, Supreme Court 4? The answer there is the Daily Double. 4,000. Okay, you'll have 11,002 if you're correct. Supreme Court cases. 2022's West Virginia v. This Federal Agency went in favor of West Virginia. What is the EPA? You are correct. You have 11,200. Who's Claudius? Yes. What's on point? Right, you are. What is Cal? Yes, Berkeley, that's correct. You have something we've seen before, a big lead. In double jeopardy with the two daily doubles and so much money on the board, anything can happen. Here are your categories, players. On my PS, 16. This five-letter word that starts and ends with the same pair of letters means be quiet. Amy. What is shush? Yes. Uh, what is flint? Yes. What is limestone? It is limestone. Frontier Folk 8. Which means you are going to find the second <laughs> double in the round, which I think Tyler was looking for. 1,000. Just 1,000 in Frontier Folk. Here's your clue. In 1874, this frontier dentist lost his practice in Dallas because his coughing alarmed patients. Who's Doc Holliday? That's correct. You have 19,200. <laughs> Just three clues remain. What's a school teacher? Yes. What's Pitter Patter? Yes. What is the epicenter? That is correct. You are knocking on the door of $20,000. <laughs> Contemporary authors is the subject for Final Jeopardy today. Let's take a look at the clue. A trip to El Paso with his young son and wondering what the city might look like years in the future inspired a novel by this author. Maureen O'Neill in the middle. Had a hard time getting her buzzer mojo working today against Tyler. Well, and I'm sure it was great. more than the buzzer probably can, but okay, <laughs> but we'll go that way if you want. I'm you don't have to say that. that. <laughs> you don't have to say that. She had 600 going into final. Her response didn't come up with one. Didn't. Didn't wager a penny, leaving you with $600. Tyler wrote in second place with $7,000. He wrote down, who is Cormac McCarthy? Correct. That's the origin of his dystopian novel, The Road. How much did you wager? You also did not bet anything. You have $7,000. Amy Schneider had a big lead going into final. Did she know it was Cormac McCarthy? She did. What did she wager? Didn't have to. $64, 19,664. Amy, you're our first tournament of champion final. Congratulations. Two more players will be joining her in those finals. We're going to find out who the second one is tomorrow. We'll see you then. Click the subscribe button below and never miss another highlight. It's just like Jeopardy, but bite-sized.